Mr. Carabinas here with our uh, weekly report. First off, a shout out to the lady behind the camera, Ms. Gately, for always filming and posting to YouTube. Thank you very much. Our report is pretty stacked again today. We have the Third Street School here to give us a report on the daddy-daughter dance and the um, concert tonight. We have our Builders Club. We're going to talk about the daddy-daughter dance as well. And then we have Miss Exley here who's going to also talk about the 4 to 8 concert that is occurring tonight. And I have a challenge at the end I'm going to be throwing out to all 43 viewers that we get. Awesome. Introduce yourself and tell us what you're going to tell us. Um, I'm Jeffrey Young at third grade from third street school and make sure you come to the concert at six o'clock and then at Oxford Street at 7 30. And tell them why you're here. Third Street School. And what are you going to be performing tonight at the concert? Black Bell. Black Bell for what? Your recorders. Great ears. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I'm Brooke. I'm in seventh grade, and tonight we have the four through eight concert. And our band is going to be performing before everybody sings. Awesome. My name is Sierra, and I'm um, in third grade. And tonight's daddy daughter, the one's daddy daughter dance is at six o'clock. I'm Bridget, and I'm in third grade from Third Street School. Bring your dad, uncles, and all the males in your family. Nice. I am Camilla. I'm in third grade, and make sure to wear a nice dress and dancing shoes. Um, my name is Mariana. I'm vice president of the Builders Club, and the dance is from kindergarten to third grade. It's tomorrow, May fifth, at six to seven thirty, and photo food and a photo booth, dancing and fun will be happening. Um, I'm Kayleen Baylor, I'm in 8th grade, and um, all the dance like money and stuff will be all donated to Family Promise and stuff of Ward County. And I'm Brian Staples, principal of Third Street School. I didn't actually introduce myself, but I wanted to extend a thank you to the Village Club for having this dance for our kids tomorrow night. I'm very excited. I will be there dressed to the nines, ready to go. <laughs> Mr. Staples is a professional at the 1990s running man. True. You are. It's true story. Okay, it's a good story. You tell them the difference, and it's a big time difference. Um, as always, guys, thank you very much for coming out and supporting our report each week. I'm going to throw out a challenge for the biggest craze going right now, the fidget spinners. I'll tell you what, I see them being banned in schools. It's kind of like the pet rock, the silly bands, the slinky at one point were these controversial toys. But Catherine Hedinger, I think that's how you pronounce her name, invented this in like 1997. Um, to like, if a kid was at school throwing rocks, you give them a physics, fidget spinner to give them an alternate way to um, deal with maybe ADHD or with an attention issue. And now schools are banning them. Here at Belvedere, this is my personal stance, we support having them in school. It's kind of like a cell phone. It's a teacher's discretion how to put them and put them away. But I'm going to throw a challenge out there to all 43 viewers. I have a record, thumb spin, 2 minutes and 52 seconds. This one's not spinning well because my daughter broke it. Take one out, see if you can beat it. Send a comment if you need be. We've I, been 3D printing them, too. 3D printing them. That's, That's how we operate at Belvedere. <laughs> As 2 minutes, 52 seconds, the challenge is out. Thank you very much for viewing. Let's get our views up, and until next time.